National Stadium, located here in the Bluegrass State. Mother Nature has served up perfect weather for today's game between the Cardinals and the Hurricane. EA Sports welcomes you to another game of NCAA football. Hi, everybody. I'm Brad Nessler here with my co-host, Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. Let's go to midfield for the coin toss, brought to you by Coca-Cola. So let's go on the body. Ready to kick off for the 2006 season here at Papa John's Cardinal Stadium in Louisville, Kentucky. We're underway. Kicks it away. Anthony Reddick with the first tackle of the season. It's time to get this shindig underway. Top 12 matchup here in Louisville, number 11 Miami, number 10 Louisville. This safety's a great leader of this defense, and he should be making plays all over the field today. Ready for my prediction, Coach? What do you got? This guy is going to get at least one interception for him. Well, we'll see what that quarterback has to say about that. Set to go to the air. Short toss. That's incomplete. Riley was the intended target on the team. That'll make it second down. And it should be a great matchup between Louisville offense and the Miami defense as quarterback Brian Brome and running back Michael Bush gets to take on my Hurricane Legion of Boom with John Beeson, Brandon Merriweather. The Hurricanes line up in a nickelback. Anyways, it's a third and one now. It's third and one. Oh, Probably expecting something up the middle from Bush. Let's see what they're lining up for. The Hurricanes bring in the nickel package. From back to pass with a quick throw. <laughs> Good hands as well. Yeah, and this kid just put his hands on this point. That's a great pickup by this back. Anyways, now that we've got a little bit of coverage in here, looks like my defense is already starting off with a low note. Louisville moving down there at my 35, but time to start off talking about what this season is really all about. And. You guys saw the roster I'm going with for 2006. Oh, I didn't think he caught that. Anyway, this isn't a normal dynasty that you'll probably find all over YouTube. Plenty of Road to Glories and 12 team dynasties. This one's a little different. My plan is I'm starting on NCAA 07 with the 2006 season, and it's more of a oh, good deflection, good deflection. It's more of a college basketball style season, if you ask me. It's uh, double the amount of regular season games. So you start off instead of 12 game regular season, it's a 24 game regular season. Well, that sounds crazy and it's impossible because all the players would get injured, but in a video game, anything's possible. You get to explore your imagination. Oh, Glenn Cook. This first layout of the season. I like it. I like it. Anyways, so if you imagine how college basketball goes, you got a, a lot of regular season. You start off with the non conference season, which. In my case, I have 13 non-conference games, and I get in the conference play, and I play every ACC team, which is 11 teams, so I'll play all my, I guess, oh, Glenn Sharp, there we go, baby, interception number one. 
Ah. So that low note turned into a high note. Glenn Sharp with an interception on the season. I love it. I love it. I love it. And now you'll get to see my offense come out for the first time today with my starter Kyle Wright and I got Javaris James. Nails. See. Oh damn. The hell. Alrighty then. I didn't even see that. That was. That seemed a lot more faster than I'm normally used to. Well, all right. I guess I'll be aware of that now. Anyways, you do have the non-conference. And then you go off to the conference play, and then after that you get into the postseason, which, as in college basketball, you have a conference tournament. And for the ACC matter, the conference tournament will be held in where they normally have the ACC championship, which in this year it is held in Jacksonville, I believe to say. I believe to say it's in Jacksonville. Oh my god. No, I was, no, I was hitting the button. Oh, it wasn't a safety. Holy shit. They sent a full on blitz and I was trying to hit Javarch James up the middle and he wouldn't throw the damn thing. I'm surprised. I thought that was a safety. I think I'm pretty sure I just heard him say safety. Well, I guess God has given me another chance because he knew that was some BS. So third and twenty-three. Not a very good offensive start off. Oh my God! Shit! Oh damn! It's not even exactly where I wanted to try to hit the dude up the middle, Larry. Completely threw it in another direction. So my offense needs a little work now. Anyways, anyways, you got a conference tournament which will be held in Jacksonville. And for the ACC matter, six teams make the tournament. You got two teams that have a bye, three plays six, four plays five. And the winners play one and two. How that goes. And that's not all the same with every other conference. Um, the Big East puts eight teams in their conference tournament. For the Big 12, I'm going to do all 12 teams. Uh, Pac-10 puts six. Most of them put six, but there's a couple that will put eight. The Big 12 puts all of their teams in. I think the Sun, I'm going to have the Sun Belt put all of their teams in. And then the fun part begins. After the tournaments are done, then it's playoff time. And we all know how we love college football playoffs. And I'm going to use the bowl games kind of like how they do the, right now with their playoff system. I'm going to have... Ooh, that fake though. Finally got some positive yards on offense. Finally. I'm like at negative 20 yards right now. Finally got something going. But yes, after that, we're going to be using playoff games. The first couple rounds will be the low-level bowl games like the New Mexico Bowl and the Idaho Potato Bowl. And the further you go, the bigger the bowl game is, the less teams are left in. Uh, you know, what? I'm rolling, I'm rolling, I'm rolling. Good block. There we go. First down. Getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. And then it all leads up to the big, the Rose Bowl, Orange Bowl, Peach Bowl, all that. One of them will host the national championship. That's the layout of my season so far. I know it sounds crazy, but I'm, pr I'm pretty sure if you follow me through with this season, you'll kind, you'll kind of get into it. You'll understand my my theory on it because I did a dry run on NCAA 14 with the 2013 Hurricanes and I did the same setup I'm doing now and it was it was very fun I enjoyed it I enjoyed it so much that I want to share the passion with all you guys but 
Now I'm going to start pitching in my focus to this game because I'd rather not start off 0-1. I'd like to get an upset over a top 10 team to begin my season. And as you saw there, a shitty pass from Kyle Wright. Cannot wait till I get Jacoy Harris, I'll tell you that much right now. Dang it, I'm hitting the button. My offense, man, they're killing me. Well, now that brings it to third and nine. We're at midfield. I had a little bit of success there until a couple seconds ago. Oh, Sam Shields with a catch, but just short. Oh, man, if I didn't get that penalty, you know what? Why not go for it, eh? Fourth and inches, we're in plus territory. I like my odds here. I'm going to do a little booty blast with Kyle Wright. There we go. I like it, I like it, I like it. Yeah, the credit go, right there goes the offensive line. Great job by the offensive line. So far, they've been very good in the first couple of goings. We've got a very young offensive line. is one of my concerns coming into this season. Hopefully not getting sacked all the shit, but so far so good. Oh, oh, oh! Javaris James. Showing off some Spider-Man news right there. Oh, shit. Like ten hurdles in a row. <laughs> That makes a second and three now. I'm trying to tie this thing up and at the 31 yard line. Come on, come on, play clock running, play clock running. Javaris James with a catch, first down. All right, there we go. Yeah, finally got some momentum going, even though obviously Louisville has it all. One step at a time, no baby steps. Not expecting any crazy ass Oregon shit in the first couple of games of my season. That'll come later. Oh shit. Oh, James Bryant saved my ass right there. What the fuck? You can't go the they're very, very fortunate to get that with that. They sure are. That one had turnover all over. I bet it did. I got scared as fuck right there. I saw a little bit of a hole right there. And I pitched it off, and then it hit the fat man. But Tyrone Moss now, the senior running back, he's going to be kind of a power back. He's going to be like my Frank Gore. Shit like that. Ooh, there we go. Nate Harris goes down. And he's out of the game. We're the Miami Hurricanes. We love fucking all of this. It's so third and three now. In the red zone for the first time. Need to, need to get ourselves a quick little score here. See if we can tie it up before the end of the first quarter. Got it. I feel like I see a blitz coming here. Oh. I should have rolled out there. Alright, well, I'm not going to be ballsy now. I'm going to go ahead and be smart and kick the field goal here. And John Petey lining up my backup quarterback, Kirby Freeman, in to hold it. And Petey is one for one. A 12 play, 37 yard drive took up just about half of the first quarter down. And it's a 7 3 game. Alrighty. Well. The pick six and all that, Louisville hasn't been on the field for quite a while, but 
their, this is only their second time out on offense, and like I stated before, they have a very good offense, definitely. This era of the Louisville Cardinals was mainly known for their offense. Gary Barnage, tight end, a couple good receivers. Harry Douglas is one of them. Michael Bush was the main point man there. Oh, oh. okay. Glenn Sharp with the coverage got that interception earlier, so. A couple turnovers here to start off. Second John B. some with a slap down there, makes a third down. And a little more talk about the regular season. I know it sounds crazy, 24 games, it's a lot of videos. I'm going to try to do my best to post every regular season game. That's my goal. The, something may happen, I might have to not post a game. Who knows, I'm going to do my best to post all 24, all the videos of my Miami Hurricane games. And I'm also going to post other games. Oh, thank God he dropped that. Oh my gosh. I was trying to hit the Y button to leap out in front of it, and for some reason he turned around that way. But at the end of the first quarter, the Louisville Cardinals lead the Miami Hurricanes 7 to 3, so definitely a defensive battle so far. My defense has turned up, and their defense has turned up. They got a defensive stop and only held me to a field goal and my defense has got an interception uh, now about to force a punt as we got Darnell Jenkins back oh, oh. okay okay I like it I like it I like it Anyways, I'm going to post other teams as well. It's not just going to be Miami games. Um, I'm going to have two rivalry week series. I'm going to have a non-conference rivalry week series, which will... Whoa, come on, Javaris James. I'm surprised that wasn't a fumble. That was a serious backward pass. But I'm going to have the two rivalry week series where I'll post a lot of other team videos and a lot of non-conference rivalries. I'm trying to think of a couple here. Um, off the top of my head, Clemson, South Carolina, Florida, Florida State. Me and Florida will be one of them. Me and Notre Dame will be another. Oh, no. So Kyle right off to a very rough start now. Two interceptions. Man, this is a rough start for me on offense right now. I was not, was not expecting that. Just got to get settled in a little bit. But they're running a tight set, but they're dropping back the pass. Ah, oh, there we go. Man. I got to get used to my user defense. My dude's like doing little dances out there right now. Brian Broome isn't much better though. At least he's two for eight and one interception. So good to say the quarter two star quarterbacks coming into the season are having very shitty games. And they got the backup Colby Smith in now, probably giving Michael Bush a breather. Ooh. Well. Makes him three for nine now. Shot there, and Glenn Cook has some sharp coverage, but nothing doing on. I did say in my last video, this is probably my favorite defense, the nickel 3 3 5. Three down linemen, three linebackers, five defensive backs, because especially in the newer games, they have a lot of mismatches. I don't like it when a receiver's on a linebacker because that's a huge mismatch and that's like practically just completions for days pretty much. So I like to have my DVs on the receivers. Three wide outs here. 
Oh, here we go. Who was that? Randy? Randy Phil. Oh, Randy. With a good beat down there. Fortune third down. I like it. I like it. I like it. At least my defense is holding up right now. My defense is holding strong. Hmm. Phil and Blitz. A little corner blitz. There we go. Carlos Amore with a tackle in the backfield. Probably forcing a field goal, possibly. No, nope, they're going to punt it. Might be a fake, though. It might be a fake. I have a feeling this could be a fake. This seems way too close to punt it. Special on fourth and one. Shit. Well, wait and see, game. I seriously think this is a fake? Oh no, holy shit. Damn. Punts it away. I would have went for it. But that's just Larry Coker. So John Russell with the pick on that last drive. That was a terrible decision by me in the first place. So. Couldn't find anybody to go to. I thought I could hit my man Darnell Jenkins. Mm. And the offense still isn't getting anything going. Anyways, going back to what I said way back in the game, there's conference, and there will be a conference rivalry week as well. Dang. I'm trying to throw it away there. And then you have all the conference rivalries. Like back then, they got Texas, Texas a and as a conference rivalry. You got me and Florida State, me and Virginia Tech, USC, UCLA, shitload of conference rivalry games. And that'll be at the very end of the year, and that should be a big lineup for me as well. Oh, man. They're freaking people up. Gosh, man. Okay, now my offensive line is showing their young youngness. That was a weird ass sack. I thought I held it. Brandon Cox there, like, I don't know what the hell. That wasn't even a sack. He, like, pushed me. Luckily, Kyle Wright was smart enough not to fall in the end zone, or else there would have been two more points I gave up. Well, the punt goes all the way back to midfield now. Completely defensive game. I thought this would be a little more of a shootout. But my offense can't get shit. Their offense can't get shit. So we set it 7 3, close to halftime. I bet on the play action there. Oh, oh, I thought Brian Paddle was about to get that tip. Oh, damn. Dang, I thought Brian Paddle was about to just... Mm. That should have been an interception. I think in real life that would have been an interception because... Brandon Merriweather practically just volleyball slapped it to him. Dang, that sucks. Well, I'm going to get John Beast. So maybe I can hit him with a sack too. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. Yeah, I think I saw a line move as well there, Lee Corso. Hey, at least safe to say I fucked that bitch up. That was a moral victory. That was a moral victory. Louisville comes to the line, only one man in the backfield. 
a whole Glen Cup. Had some butterfingers there. It's all good though. You're a linebacker. I know. I know the feeling. That should have been. But it's okay. We held them to third down. If we hold them to a field goal here, I'll consider it another victory for my defense because they started at midfield and we gave up a big pass. Damn. Gary Barney just killing me up the middle. I might have to start switching up my defense, put more coverage in there. Or not. Hmm. Well, they gave it to Michael Bush. We haven't really seen much of Bush. It's mostly been drop back passes, which kind of shocked. I thought it would be a little bit of a Michael Bush show right now, but I'm going to bump it back to a 4-3 and see if I can get any coverage here. But Gary Barnage with three catches, 46 yards. I have a feeling he might have a touchdown grab before this day is over. But maybe this defense should be able to slow him down a little bit. Oh shit, oh shit. Ah, oh, damn. Well. Gave it to Michael Bush and slipped through my defense. But just, just to think, Louisville won this game in Erlock 31 to 7. So I'm going to get my offensive going on this next drive. I'm done dicking around with my offense. Fourteen three now. I'm getting ready. My defense is done dicking around. We're going to get a touchdown right here. Bruce Johnson lead the way. All right, respect, respect. Zero. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to go tight with Tyrone Moss. Try to start this off. Oh, damn. My offensive line is killing me right now. All right. Going tight didn't work. Let's try to spread it out. Ah. Shit. All right, here we go, here we go. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling good. Oh, first down, first down, damn, fourth and inches. Oh my god. You know what? We got to get something going. It, it worked last time. I have a feeling it's going to work this time. Fourth and inches. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. There we go. I <laughs> got a little scared there at first. He was like shuffling through the line. A game of inches. That it is a game of inches, Lee Corso, and I barely got through. But. Probably should have pitched it there, but now Kyle Wright's getting a little worn out. See if I can try to drop back and actually get a completion this time. Greg Olson, his first catch of the day. Ooh, faked him with a little play action and got it to Greg Olson. Respect, respect. We're getting something going on. Okay, hold on. There we go. 
I don't want James Bryant to get on the screen. There we go. He actually caught it this time. He only went for three yards. All right, Javaris James. There we go. Third and two. Third and two. We're moving. We're moving. Little by little. I think we'll get the ball in the second half, so. Let's see if we try to at least get two for two here. There we go. There we go, Javaris James. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to see. Yeah, I just did that to stop the clock. I at least want to get in field goal position because I do get the ball in the second half. Let's see, all right, let's, let's spread it out. Damn. It's not really one I wanted to try there. But. What do you think, Corso? Field goal? Field goal at 29 yard line? Let's see. I don't know. I got the wind with me. Forty six yards. Yeah. I'm gonna call a timeout and think about this and kick forty six yard field goal, which I have a feeling I'm not gonna make. I don't think I have enough leg in it. Or I can go for it. I got twenty one seconds, so I mean might as well, you know what? A line. All right. Jesus Christ. If Larry Coker isn't on the hot seat now, he probably is. At well, least should be by now. Freaking keep going for it. Got him, got him, got him, got him. There we go, baby. Let's go, let's go. Touchdown. Let's go. Let's go. Darnell Jenkins, Kyle Wright's first touchdown of the season. Bam. Let's go. Ugh. Now I'm glad I didn't kick that field goal. <laughs> And that's a 14-10 game now with a couple seconds before halftime and 14 play drive. Let's see if I could just... Well, let's see what Louisville tries to do. We might toss a Hail Mary and they might just send it to halftime. One second to go. Um, well, five receivers, zero backs. Okay. Time for another interception, boys. Let's do it. One second. Looks like Brian Brome's just going to lob it to the end zone. Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up here. One of his guys can come down with it. Oh, quick pass. What the hell was that? Shit, that was a terrible pass. Well, anyways, a good half of football. 14-10 game here between two top 12 programs here in Louisville. I get the ball to start off the second half. We'll see if we can go two for two here and take the lead. Or at least get a field goal. Thank you. 
Yeah, I got lucky as shit on my last drive. It's really been a good bit of luck. 714, one for two for Kyle Wright. Only 63 yards, so I mean, it's definitely been a rough one on offense, but. What the Oh. Damn, Javaris James couldn't handle the toss. One day it sucks about having a freshman running back. I'm probably going to have to try to hit Tyrone Moss a little bit more in this second half now. But, there we go, there we go, there we go, 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 go. Good move, good move, there we go. Alright, I'm going to hit Tyrone Moss here with the option. I know this is, football games do seem to drag on a little bit. Most most of my games, oh, oh, oh. I'll take that, I'll take that. Dang, I know I saw a wide ass open field there. I should have pitched it off the title of Moss right there. He had more speed, but you know, no no regrets. No regrets. I'm gonna hit this time I'm gonna hit it to him for real though. Anyways, most of my games are gonna be fourth quarter coverages. They're not I'm only just doing this because it's the first game of the year and I wanna explain everything to you guys about what's gonna be happening over my next videos, but my next video for my next game, which I can't even think of we're playing next. I gotta look at my schedule. But it'll be just a fourth quarter coverage. It's mostly gonna be fourth quarter coverage. My next uh, my next big game may be be Ohio State, which is a little ways down the road, maybe Florida State. Bam! Go, 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 go. There we go. Lance, like it. There we go. Now we're, now we're cooking, baby. Now we're cooking. 100% in the red zone. I like that. I want to try to keep a 90 plus red zone percentage over this season. Oh. Oh, James gets knocked down by the line. Alright, I'm filling another screen. Let's see, is there, is there a screen on this list? There's an option. Alright, Kyle Wright, come on. Come on. My egg just fall on. Shit. And Louisville, the thing is, they're sending all these blitzes. They know that I got a very inexperienced offensive line, and that's probably what a lot of teams are going to do to kill me. I got a very inexperienced offensive line, so the blitzes are probably just going to kill me this year. I'll probably settle for the field goal here. I will settle for the field goal here. My defense has been very good throughout the first half. I think I'm just going to settle for a field goal. Oh, I hate kicking from this side. Man. Oh, there we go. Turn, turn, turn. There we go. So, slowly but surely cutting into it. Slowly but surely just knifing into that Louisville lead down. Now one point. And Moreau sends it off. Harry Douglas back to receive. Rolling off the tackle. Tackle down by, it looks like, Willie Cooper. Hmm. We got a full on blitz here. All ball, baby, all balls. Drum 
All balls here. Oh, well, damn. Well, Glenn Sharp made the tackle off the blitz, but sadly to say, Michael Bush got eight yards before he could do it. Second and two yards to go. Uh, he's got 40 yards, so very respectable there for at least only the first half. They haven't really gave it to him much. He only got seven attempts. But he got that touchdown there at the end of the first half. And he's throwing deep. Douglas, wide actually. Come on, Randy. Come on, Randy. You got to get them things, Randy. I have a feeling this is going to be a run. No. Oh. Well, I got a user slot. I finally got my dude in position to make a play, but I forgot he's a linebacker, so hands aren't really a necessity. Or at least hands for catching, that is. Draw play. John Beeson with another take. John Beeson. Yeah. If he does not leave this team in tackles, you know what? I'm going to make a statement right now. John Beeson will lead the ACC in tackles. That is my goal for this year. I want John Beeson will lead the ACC in tackles. That's a pretty big statement. I think I can do it. I think I can pull it off of it. And a terrible pass from Brian Brome, and that is fourth down. And it looks like they're going to settle for a few goal this time. They punted it when they were in this situation last time, so we'll see what happens here. Move out of the way, so not to hit the kicker. Well, shit. I had to step away there, so I don't know what the fuck just happened. From in my eyes, it looked like they pulled a fake field goal. Those sneaky little bastards. Those sneaky, sneaky, sneaky little sons of bitches pulled a fake field goal. I knew it. Damn. I knew they were going to do, try to fake me out some way. I had to step away for a sec and then just like that, first and down 10, now they're in the red zone, so shit. You know what? It's all good. It's all good. Apparently Brad Nestle thinks now they're in the red zone they're going to get a touchdown. I have a feeling I have a pretty good red zone defense. Throughout this game, they got a touchdown with Michael Bush, and then Glenn Sharp also got an interception all there in the red zone. So it could go, it could be either way here. Oh, I think that's false start. Encroachment. Bullshit. Bullshit. How? How the fuck can a corner encroach? How the hell? What? How can a corner encroach? He's not. He wasn't even on the line. How could he even encroach? How could he make an offensive lineman jump if he's like, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Fuck your shits up. Anyways, go to Louisville. Don't trust them refs. They've been paid off with some Kentucky fried chicken. 
Obviously. They're trying to shut us out of a ball game here. Ah, I got caught up on the line. Pitches it. Oh, oh, here we go, Randy. Damn. I saw Good in there get slammed to the ground, and I got a little scared. I thought, damn, that's going to be a touchdown. But Randy Phillips saved us. All right, I'm going to go to a, I'm going to go to a bear here. Third down and four to go. All right, here we go. It's either going to be a touchdown or a field goal right here. But I highly doubt they're going to fake it again. So touchdown field goal here for Louisville. Lining up in the eye. I have the... I was a fullback. Shit. Touchdown. Well, shit. Fullback. Booty blast my ass up the middle and they got a touchdown. It's all good, though. It's all good. I might end up having to go for a two-point conversion here if I get in touchdown. Maybe. I might have to go for a two-point conversion. skirmish off the best chance to at least get a chance to think of a game plan here to what the hell I'm gonna do because the fourth quarter is about to approach and not in the best position at least points wise so I'm probably might have to go for a two-point conversion if I do get a touchdown here which I'm planning on my offensive offensive gains kind of picked up momentum but sadly to say, my defense has lost me then, so. Kind of a little switcheroo there. A little football switcheroo. Oh, they dropped it back. Darnell Jenkins didn't give me a block. So the true freshman Sam Shields there, the Green Bay Packer corner, gets the screen, but doesn't get any blocking, so doesn't really go to plan. Oh, it's a blitz. Greg Olson, baby. Gotta love Gio. That is one white man you can trust right there is old Greg Olson. Well, thank you. Thank you, Kurt Herbstreit. Yeah, I think it was a good call. Because they were sending a hell of blitz. And if Gary Barnage is killing me up the middle, well, I might as well kill them up the middle with Gio. Oh, ah. I was hoping Greg Olson would get there with the block in time. We probably would have got a first down. But wrapping up the first quarter now. Let's see if I can get one more playoff. Last play of the third quarter. Ah. I'm going to have a third and three start off. So a 21 to 13 game, I'm probably, you know, I'm not really considering any punts here right now. Punts are out of the question, especially that I'm in plus territory. So if what was, but I think I can do it. McCall right, 10 to 17. He's one and two, hit over the 100 yard mark. So for a first game. Come on, come on, come on, snap the damn ball. Son of a bitch. Well, that changes my game plan now. All right, what? Well, just fucking snap the ball. Sitting there pointing fingers at players' assholes. Ah, damn it, damn it, damn it. 
to a third delay a game penalty. The refs have just not been going my way. I don't think Louisville's going to call for one penalty. Get it, get it, get it. There we go. There we go. Unnecessary juke move, but I don't care. Unnecessary, but I don't care. I got the first down, and this drive will keep going. Because I want a damn touchdown. I'm tired of these field goals. Javaris James is for a freshman his his first game of college football is not not going very well. I'll take that. I will take that. I did. I got some quality yards out of it. No complaints. Third and six now. I guess worst comes the worst because I don't want to go for it. Call it, call it, call it. There we go. Darnell Jenkins. Damn, man. Give that man an MVP trophy right now. I got scared as fuck there. I thought I was going to call him delay a game. I was trying to set up a, a kind of a rollout play where Darnell Jenkins goes off on the limb and then Sam Shields cuts a corn, cuts a curl flat, but I looked at the game clock and didn't realize I didn't have time for that. So. Uh oh. Oof. Damn, I gotta. Hold on. Let me call in Tyrone Moss here. He's the only player right now that's not getting fatigued. Alright, come on, stop pointing, Kyle. Right, we got shit to do. There we go. Oh, punch that bitch. Third and one now. Good thing I kept Tyrone Moss fresh this game. Because this is where we're going to need him right here. Third and one, I'm calling in the goal line. This time it's not going to be a quarterback sneak. I got James Bryant. I got my two big boys lined up. Oh, shit. Damn. Terrible, terrible by James Bryant. I don't know what the fuck to do here. This is tough. I'm going to call a timeout and think about this one. Larry Coker calling a timeout here, so it's fourth and one. I got three yards to go. If I kick it, it's a 21 16 game. I'm probably going to get the ball back. If I go for it, I mean, I've had mostly success with Kyle Wright sneaking it up the middle. I could roll out and try to get a touchdown, or I can get the easy three points. Shit, shit, shit. Decisions, decisions. Yeah. Mm, damn. Um, what do you think, Corso? Alright, well, Corso's telling me to go for it. You might as well not show up for the game. Don't forget your name, Walker. You're absolutely right. Oh, Kyle Wright falls in. Touchdown. Let's go. Damn. That was that was awesome. Now, of course, I think, yeah, I was thinking the same thing, Corso. Two-point two conversion here. Oh, Tyrone Moss. Come on, man. You got to get that. It's okay, then. The defense, we can just get some momentum on defense. We can stop them and maybe hold them to a field goal here. We just cannot give up a touchdown. No touchdowns. No touchdowns allowed here. Yeah. 
Only a one possession game, 556 remaining. Hell, hell of a game here for the first first game of the season. Hell of a game between two top 12 programs. I mean, win or lose, my boys play hard, but you know, I'm not talking like that right now. I'm not talking like that right now, because I still think I can win this. I have full belief in myself. It looks like they might be saving Michael Bush for the end here. We got. Oh. I gotta find a different coverage. They're blowing through my coverage right now. I've been using the, kind of the same coverage scheme, and I guess they finally figured it out. They might try to kill some time here. They might try to kill the clock on me. Oh, play action, very much. Damn, man. Come on, guys. We just can't give up a touch. It'd be nice if we could stop and just go ahead and kick the field goal and tie this puppy up. But at least let's just try to get up. Try to get three and out. No touch. Just no touch. I'll take that. I'll take that. Three on the three yard game. Yeah, how about that? So I'll switch it. I'm gonna go four four now. Second and seven coming up here. Four four with a tight man coverage. Louisville lines up with a shotgun set. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh, glad he freaking got up there in time because Michael Bush was wide ass open. Okay, they're running they're running full on receivers here. We got no running backs, five receivers, so let's spread it out. Come on guys, one more stop. One more stop. If you get one more stop, our offense can take over. One more stop, our offense can take over. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it, damn it, damn it, man. Come on, guys. Play action, play action, let's play action. That's a pick, that's a pick. I'll take it, I'll take it. So, Brian Brown trying to shoot it. Looks like the Michael Bush in the end zone there, trying to get a quick touchdown. Trying to catch a slipping. Man, when he popped it in the air, though, I thought that was about to be an interception. Dang. I had my happy face on for a couple seconds. Now, I still believe in this, guys. I think we can get an interception here. I think we can do it. I'll take that. I'll take that. Couple yard game. But now we got to stop them right here. I like, I like this play. This play looks like it could work. Stops running, short pass. I feel like the only way they could kill me with this play is if they go deep. Which, damn. Come on, Glenn Sharp. Don't wait under him like that. Alrighty, well, they got two touchdowns when they were in the red zone before. It looks like they're spreading it out a little bit. But that other time was an interception, so I still believe in it. They just can't give up a touchdown. Cannot give up a touchdown. Yes, let's go. Let's go. Glenn Cook, yes. 
Oh, trying to hit it to Harry Douglas. Glenn Cook got it. Oh my God, yes. Okay, okay. We got to celebrate there for a couple seconds. Now it's time for Kyle Wright and the offense to take over. We're going for a blitz. Let's go, Khalil. No, wait, Ryan Moore. Excuse me, Ryan Moore. With a, the senior with a grab there, getting us out of our own end zone. So far, so good. I got 250, so I mean, not in the biggest rush. Got two timeouts. Not really in the biggest rush right now. But I can't dick around either. Oh, come on, Anthony. You're a damn senior. You gotta hold that off. You're the only senior on the offensive line. If you fuck up, we all fuck up. Come on, guys. I'll take that. I'll take that. Got a wide ass through run there. I'll take that. Usually means he's going to have some to run. So 53 yards running by Kyle Wright. He also ran for that touchdown earlier. I'll take that. I'll take that. Darnell Jenkins with a good catch. Let's see if I can get the first down here with Javar James. And first down. All right. I'll take that. That it is. That it is. Shit. Four sacks today, man. That's the that's the killer right there. Four sacks and those turnovers. Oh, good block. Good block. Good block. Tyrone Moss, good block there. Good to know the senior stepping up for us. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. What are you thinking, Corso? I have a feeling you're going to blitz. I'm going to try to spread it out a little bit here. Under a minute to go, this could be the game. Oh, I'm taking, I'm taking, I'm taking. Run out of bounds, run out of bounds. I'm in field goal position a little bit. I might try to work for a field goal here and send this puppy to overtime. Oh, man, my heart's beating fast now. The nerves are on. Close game, first game of the season. Oh, my God. Hell of a game here. I'll take that. I'll take that. All right. Now the momentum's all ours. This is our game to choose now. As long as we don't turn this turn this shit over, this game is all us. There was the players of the game. I think Michael Bush and I don't know who the other one was. So 20 seconds to go now. I'm going to see if I can try to pitch a couple shots to the end zone here. That's a bad, that's a bad decision. A bad decision. Shit. Okay. Damn, I don't know what to do here. I'm scared to throw it in the coverage like that again. He got it. Nope, out of bounds. All right, another field goal from John Petey. He's two for two, and to send it to overtime. Oh, whoa, whoa, I forgot, shit. Oh my God, I can't count. That was a two point lead. Oh my God, we just took the lead. Wow, wow, why did not, wow, wow. Wow, why did I think of that, wow. Whoa. 
I showed off that I my math skills are barely lacking today. Because then I took a two-point lead and I just took the victory. 22 to 21. Wow. I was thinking the whole time I was thinking we'd go to fucking overtime. That was my first 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 lead of the game. Great job, Thanks for tuning into our game. Our final score, the Miami Hurricanes, 22, and the Cardinals of Louisville, 21. Until next time, with Kirk Herbstreet and the coach, Lee Corso, I'm Brad Zessler saying so long. So a hell of a game in Louisville, Kentucky. A game-winning field goal. I'll take a 22-21 to 21 win. And so far, that is number one on my ESPN Instant Classics. Dang. Hell of a game. Hell of a game. No injuries on my team. Look at some stats here. Kyle Wright was 16-26, 1-2, 192 yards. Brian Brown was only 10-25 and 0-2. And Kyle Wright led the rushing yards of 78. Tyrone Moss had 35. Javaris James was only 10. Michael Bush had 64 yards with a touchdown. Taylor had a touchdown as well. Darnell Jenkins led the way of the receiver. Hell of a game from him. 76 yards. 76 yards with a touchdown off seven catches. Javaris James had 21. Lance Leggett had 38. Greg Olson had 31 yards. Gary Barnage was the leader for them. No receiving touchdowns. And on defense, Kenny Phillips. Didn't expect that. I thought John Beeson. But John Beeson said second with... Six. Glenn Sharp had an interception in the early game. Glenn Cook. How about that one? Oh, had a game winning interception for us.